My name's Peter John Cooper. I'm a playwright, poet and theatre practitioner. Welcome to Blood and Bones, an occasional personal series about writing plays of the 21st century. Theatre is the oldest expression of some of the deepest human instincts. The playwright's job is to establish the complex process of thought that leads to that expression and to engage audiences in a conversation about it. Yet, in this post-rational 21st century, just when they're needed, many of the enormous possibilities of drama have been lost to a welter of superficial acrobatics. Music, visual effects, as company accountants wring their hands about declining audiences and increasing costs and fall back more and more on musicals and filleted versions of the classics. At the same time, the Actual skills involved in writing plays, character construction, dialogue as a vehicle for understanding the fundamentals of human nature, that sort of thing, have been downgraded such that the playwright, him or herself, is thought of as a mere penholder for other theatre makers. Playwrights are kept at arm's length from the centre of the creative process by the dread shadow of the dramaturg and the play reading committee. This series is not a handy how to do it guide, but rather a personal meditation on the place of the playwright in contemporary theatre and how and why I go about wrestling out plays for it. I'm suggesting that now is a great time for writers to be writing. But if theatre really is to survive, it needs to re-engage with its audiences by offering something to challenge the immediate attraction of film, television and other narratives. It needs to find its soul again and offer what is its unique properties. To do this, it needs a powerful cohort of playwrights and it needs them once again at the heart of the playmaking process. Playwrights like me need to stop titting around with 10 minute sketches and applying cap in hand to futile competition competitions, we need to be bolder, braver, prouder of what we do because I firmly believe we can contribute in some way to getting the world back to interacting in a more humane, rational way. We can and ought to be applying our imaginations to understanding and tackling the puzzle our century has become. After all, in a crazy world, we can't make anything worse. Now, I'm particularly fortunate in that I was able to learn my craft in what, with hindsight, appears to be a golden age of theatre during the 60s and 70s. I've had opportunities to work alongside great actors and within companies who believe in the essential power of drama. I've been able to learn from people who knew their craft inside out and who never stopped experimenting and learning and finding out about themselves and the whole world. Well, I hope I've been able to pass that ethos on in writing workshops and as a director working with young and established actors to this day. So, if you are a playwright, actor, director, audience member, or all-round lover of theatre, come with me on my ramble through my own head as I try to understand this magical art form I've been playing with for the last 40 years. Do please subscribe to my channel and I'll try to keep these observations coming on as regular basis as I can. Thank you. See you again.